Welcome to the Therapy Show Podcast. I'm your host, Lisa Mustard. In each episode, I interview a seasoned and knowledgeable talk therapist from the counseling world to glean valuable insights, techniques, and tools that you can apply to your practice and your life. And if you're considering a career in the counseling field or just want to hear about what it's like to be a talk therapist, then this is the podcast for you. Hey friends, welcome back to the podcast. This is a fun and exciting topic and I'm always up for sharing what's working, not just for me when it comes to marketing my offers, but what's working for others. So if you hang out in any therapist Facebook group, you'll see the question. The question is, how are you marketing your courses, services, products, et cetera, and is it working? Well, I guess we should define what working means first, right? Working to me is this, are my marketing efforts giving me leads? Are they generating new people onto my email marketing list? And then the next part of defining working really is, are those leads buying what I'm offering? So if your efforts aren't generating leads, then I'd say your marketing isn't working really well. Now, of course, there are tons of ways to market what it is that you do. And if you are just getting started with growing your private practice, I want to encourage you to listen to podcasters and bloggers that focused on just that. So while I think you'll get some good ideas from this episode, you'll probably best be served by those who specialize in growing a private practice. And you can listen to episode 26 of The Therapy Show, where I talk with Kate and Katie of The Private Practice Startup, where they chat about growing a business you love. And there are so many clinicians out there who help with starting a private practice. It's really not that difficult or hard to find information now. Nowadays. So this episode is more for those clinicians who might be considering coaching, offering a course, selling an ebook or book, promoting a product, or perhaps you're unsure what you want to sell, but you hear all the time that the money is in your email list. So you are wanting to start one. And I'm here to say, go for it. I wish I had only started sooner. So let's talk about what's working for me right now, plus so many others out there. So here is my marketing funnel. Create a quiz promote the quiz, people take the quiz, they then join my email list. And now I am making offers and having sales happen. Okay, sidebar to all of this. Yes, I have a podcast, which is a huge marketing tool. And I definitely count the podcast as a way that I've grown my leads. But honestly, I find the podcast to be more of a get to know me tool. If you like what I share, you'll probably consider getting onto my email list or taking my quizzes. But you don't need a podcast to grow your business. But I definitely find it to be really helpful. So let's talk about these quizzes. Consider creating a quiz to grow your email list. So why do they work so well? First, quizzes are interactive and engaging. Instead of signing up for an ebook, which they may never get around to reading anyway, your audience can interact with your content by answering a series of stimulating or entertaining questions, which is way, way more fun. Another reason quizzes work so well is that the results or outcomes are personalized to each person's individual situation. People want insight into themselves and a quiz with personalized results can deliver information that's helpful to them and helps them understand who they are. While the quiz is an entry gate, also known as a lead magnet, it's fun for the person taking it and allows you to gain valuable information about your leads through their answers. Asking strategic questions allows you to support and serve them and show up for them in a very specific way based on their answers, okay? So currently I have two quizzes running, one titled, What Podcast Should You Create?, And the other is what is your activewear personality style? The questions I ask allow me to find out where my audience sits on these topics. And then when I have their responses, I can create emails that address the topics and issues they want more information on. It's been a great way to both grow my list and serve my audience in a more specific and way more fun way. I just said way more fun way. Yes, I did way twice. (laughs) So are you seeing the flow here? Create your quiz. Yes, you can definitely promote it on social media channels, but I highly recommend putting some marketing dollars behind it and run ads to it as well. Once they take your quiz, they're on your email list. You'll want to set up your initial follow-up email series. So once someone takes your quiz, they start receiving your emails right away. The initial email series is a way for you to greet them and start nurturing the relationship. Look, I know there are a lot of uncertainties happening in the world right now. And when it comes to worrying about the future or even dwelling too long in the past, it can take a toll on your present day. It can affect your relationships, your work, 
your health, your habits, and it can be a good idea to talk with a counselor to sort through your thoughts, feelings, and actions. If you're thinking now is the time to get started with therapy, consider BetterHelp. BetterHelp provides affordable private online counseling and will match you with a professional licensed therapist. You can get therapy in four different ways. You can exchange messages with your therapist, chat live, speak over the phone, and you can also video conference with your therapist. And you can use these different ways at different times as you wish based on your needs, availability, and convenience. BetterHelp's licensed therapists specialize in a wide range of issues, including anxiety, trauma, relationship issues, stress, depression, and much more. Join over the 2 million people who've decided to get help and get happy with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com forward slash Lisa Mustard and get 10% off your first month. Now, I'm no expert on email marketing, but I have been at it for a few years and my best emails come when I'm working to nurture the relationship with my audience as well as serve them with valuable information. I used to dread emailing my list, like dread it. I put it off for weeks, but since I've changed my approach, I really look forward to crafting my emails and engaging with people on my list. So now that I have my email list up and running, I'm nurturing the list and the relationships. I then make offers. Now, I'm not selling to them in each email. I'm offering a ton of free value and information, but I'm also reminding them that I have coaching packages too. I've learned that email marketing is part strategy, part engagement, another part consistency, and a dash of fun. I had so many doubts about starting an email list, but I'm so glad that I finally started So do you want to get a taste of what I'm talking about? You can take my quizzes and see how I email my list. Honestly, I believe quizzes are a hidden secret for online marketing. Don't delay in getting yours going today. So I use a plugin called Smart Quiz Builder, which is a website plugin, right? There's a one-time licensing fee, not a monthly fee like most quiz sites out there. And the quizzes are hosted on my site, not someone else's. And you can create all types of quizzes and it's super easy to use. Like this is coming from someone who's afraid I will blow up my site if I hit the wrong button, really and truly. It's super user-friendly. They have stunning templates that will allow you to create quizzes that stand out with beautiful design, easy to use and fully customizable, mobile-friendly. It keeps visitors on your website longer. You're gonna increase engagement and quiz completion rate, I promise, and you'll definitely increase your conversions. It's been a game changer, y'all, for growing my email list. All right, so maybe I've convinced you now that creating a quiz is a way to go to grow your email list. The sky's the limit on what kinds of quizzes you can create. I recommend reverse engineering what you want to accomplish, like want to offer coaching services, want to sell your products. What type of quiz would help you get your ideal customer on your list? Create it and grow your email list. If you love this marketing idea yet feel a little bit overwhelmed, I completely get it. You want to talk it over with someone who's been in your shoes and has felt a little lost and confused on how to move forward with pivoting your skill set? Then book a free 20 minute consultation call with me. Let's talk and see if I can help you figure out which way to go with your ideas. Link to book that call is in the show notes, you guys. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. I have more to come on quiz creation and how to drive traffic to them on future episodes. Thanks for being here, you guys. Hope you have a great day. Hey guys, before we end this episode, if you are liking my content, if you're liking my podcast, be sure to go over and leave me a five-star review on the podcast platform of your choice. And if you are up for it, I'd love it if you left me a review as well. Well, that wraps up another episode of The Therapy Show with Lisa Mustard. I know there are hundreds of thousands of podcasts out there, and I'm thankful you've chosen to listen to mine. Be sure to visit lisamuster.com to access the show notes and discover more fantastic content. And I'd be grateful if you subscribe to the show. Thank you.